Hello, wonderful people. Have you ever felt a little stuck in some aspect of your life or business? Like there's just something you keep pushing up against and you've talked to people and you've journaled, you've tried all sorts of things, yet there are things that you keep running up against or patterns you keep pushing yourself through and you keep wondering, why can't I break through this? Whether it's a limiting belief or a habit, or maybe you have a goal and you just keep falling short. Well, today I'm gonna to give you a powerful tool and exercise to help you identify and remove those blocks. Because, here's the secret, it's not that there's anything wrong with you. It's your subconscious, the 95% of our brain that we aren't aware of, that's controlling you. You're normal. I'm Hannah Hermanson, certified success coach, brand strategist, international speaker, and a real person. And get cozy because we are gonna walk through this exercise right here, right now, together. This is a tried and true practice that I've learned and implemented with my mentor, Jack Canfield. It's helped me and my clients move from everything, move through things like I have this goal to earn 40K a month, but I keep only hitting 30K a month. What is that? Not your systems. To why do I keep feeling so tired all of the time? I'm doing all the right things to support my health, yet I'm just so tired. Not your fault. To I keep getting no's on sales calls, and I've done everything you've told me, Hannah, yet I keep getting no's. It's a subconscious thing. So again, if there's any aspect of your life that you're stuck in, weight loss, sales, finding a relationship, eliminating your attachment to food, all of that can be worked on right here, right now. So get cozy, settle in, and let's get to work. Think about all of the feelings you feel when you run up against that block. Think about all the times you've felt this way. Focus on that feeling of stuckness. And go ahead and close your eyes, continuing to focus on your frustration. We're going to go through a few questions, but anytime you want to gently reach forward and pause the recording to go deeper, to give yourself more time or space, you're welcome. You're welcome to do that. So answer this question for yourself. What is the area of your life that you're feeling stuck or you're having a hard time creating the outcomes that you want? Now, what does it feel like when you're trying to achieve that reality? And now scan your body. Starting your focus at the top of your head and gradually moving all the way down. And you'll notice a sensation. It will just stand out. Where are you noticing sensation in your body right now? It might be a weight or a pressure or a pain not necessarily what it feels like to sit on your chair, but another sensation in your body. Again, just pops in. Where is this sensation in your body? Where is it located? Good. How, how big is this thing? Is it circular? rectangular, or maybe odd-shaped? What color is it? Is it hollow or dense? Is it warmer or cooler than the rest of your body? What's its temperature? Really wrapping your mind's eye around this physical sensation. Ha 
as you're focusing on this, allow yourself to go inside and feel the feelings that are present inside of this sensation. And let yourself go back to the first time you remember feeling those feelings, feeling this way. A memory will just come to mind. Now that we're in this memory, probably from your childhood, where are you? Who else is around you? What are you doing? Replay that mental movie. How old are you? What is happening here? As you're reliving that, that mental movie, this experience, was there a limiting decision or belief that you took on? That little you decided? If not, rewind the recording and continue going in to your memory you're still with me, ask yourself this question. If you could go back in time and space from where you are now, present day you, if you could go back to little you in that experience, what would you say to yourself? What wisdom and coaching would you offer yourself? Yeah. What new understandings or perspectives can you offer your younger self on why this is happening? What strengths or qualities might you be developing in that moment? What is the insight or the perfection that having this experience is offering you right now? Mm, good. Take another deep breath. And now, travel into the future to 80-year-old you, who has lived a full and complete and rewarding life. You've accomplished everything. You are your ideal 80-year-old self. Look back at yourself from 80 years old to now, sitting in this room, going through this exercise. Look back at yourself at the age you are now. What would the 80 year old you say to you today? What insight and blessing do you have today? What might you not have learned having not had that younger experience? What advice does 80 year old you have for you today? When that feels complete, thank your 80 year old self. Take a big breath in as you exhale. Come back to the you that is here today. Present you. Go back to the shape of that original pain or sensation you identified. How has it changed? 
it less intense or more intense. Now think about the presenting issue. How do you feel about that block now? Take a full breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Start to wiggle your fingers and toes. And slowly come back to the room. Welcome back. Now, the intention is that this exercise has shed some light on some past decisions that you made, experiences you had to have in order to shape you into the person you are and the person you're going to be. This is a skill like any other that becomes mastered with time. So my hope is that you uncovered something that you can work with, some new knowledge that you can coach yourself with. The truth is though, the first time I did this, I didn't get a whole lot. I kept doing it though, and it's become one of the most powerful tools in my personal development. So save this link. Come back to it often. I have clients who do this every single morning with themselves to continue to kick up that subconscious, to understand what decisions you made and decide, do you wanna keep those beliefs you made in childhood or do you wanna use this tool to rewrite your adult brain, to get closer to that future you? If you have any questions, please let me know. But now write down everything you just learned solidify it into your journal so you can go back and review it and know that this experience is absolutely real. You are stronger and smarter than your subconscious allows you to be. So write this down so you can continue rewriting your brain and your beliefs because it is our beliefs that support our actions and our actions are what get our results. This is how you become unstuck and unblocked. Get writing. I'll see you next time. I love you.